In this video, we'll learn how to write an algebraic vector as a geometric vector. So we're given a question. This is from page 167, question 7a in your textbook. And the algebraic vector is, the vector u is negative 6 root 3, comma 6. The first thing we want to do is set up our x and y axis. And then we want to draw it in the right quadrant. Negative 6 root 3 means go left on the x-axis. And 6 means go up on the y-axis. So our vector u ends up here. We can write that vector u as a combination of its two components. That is, go out negative 6 root 3 on the x-axis and go up positive 6 on the y-axis. So how do we write this as a geometric vector? Well, we recognize that this is a right angle triangle. These two components are 90 degrees to each other, and they form the vector u. So since it's a right angle triangle, I can solve for the magnitude of u using Pythagorean theorem. That is, the magnitude of u squared equals 6 squared plus negative 6 root d squared. So the magnitude of u squared is just 36 plus, and you can square both of these in your head if you wanted, or take a calculator, 6, let's put in brackets, 6 root 3 all squared is 108. So you get 36 plus 108. Maybe that one you can do in your head. The magnitude of u squared is 36 plus 108 is 144. And to get the magnitude of u by itself, just square root, square root of 144 is 12. Now I know how long, or what the magnitude is, of the u vector. But I need to know the angle it makes with the x-axis. So let's solve for theta in here. I can use any of the sides, because I have them all now, including this side is just 12. I can draw a quick sketch if you want, because I think I'll use the 12. So I'm going to use the fact that I have a right angle triangle. And you don't have to resketch. This is 12. This is 6. I'm looking for theta. Compared to theta, this side 6 is opposite. Compared to theta, this side 12 is hypotenuse. That means we're using the sine formula. The sine of theta is just 6 opposite over the hypotenuse 12. So solve for theta by going on your calculator and taking the inverse sine of 6 divided by 12, which is 0.5, and you get 30 degrees. No surprise there, it's right out of the special triangles. We knew it would be 30 degrees. So we have our vector, that is, therefore, the magnitude of u is 12 at, and then hold on a second, it's 30 degrees in the triangle, but we want the angle with the x-axis, that is, the angle from x in the positive direction to this u vector. So we know it's 30 degrees in the triangle. It must be the case that it's 150 degrees from the x-axis. So vector u has a magnitude of 12 at an angle of 150 degrees. So we found a geometric vector from its algebraic vector by drawing the geometric vector, sorry, by drawing the algebraic vector in its quadrant, breaking it down into its x and y parts, solving for its magnitude using Pythagorean theorem, and then using SOHCAHTOA to find its related acute angle. When we found that, we had its magnitude, and we could determine its angle with the x-axis.